Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to turn the fit off. And we're going to go ahead and bring the PV200 into test mode by using the dip switch 8. All right, so everything through configuration and testing the unit, usually um, cancel and save will be using the F3 and F4 keys. And then usually we'll use clear to press back. So head back towards the main menu and enter to save any configurations. Now we're in the PV200 terminal test mode. In here we'll be able to select all the different functions and see whether if everything is working properly. The first thing that we're going to go ahead and we're going to select option number one to go ahead and test out the keypads. In here, you'll be able to test both alpha and numeric keypad functions to see whether if you're having any difficulty with them. So by selecting each one, it will then go ahead and highlight and acknowledge that that key is actually working properly, as well as the numeric numbers. Okay, and we're going to back out of here, go back to the main menu after we're, everything is tested. Go ahead and press F4 twice to back out out of keypad test. Now in here we'll go into option 2 for readers, so we can go ahead and determine to see if a card will actually read. So insert your card here into the card reader, and you'll see what kind of media format, card number, and your track 2 data. And the four first digits of your card number is usually your network number for each card. We'll go ahead and press back. Back one more time. And you can, in here, uh, you can actually be able to test your receipt printer. And also, in option number four, if you feel like that a dip switch isn't working correctly, in the back on the main board where you would select uh, whether if you want your unit set to test mode or into configuration mode, these are the same dip switches that uh, were functioning. So you can actually, on the fly, be able to hit your switches. So option 8 and 7, I can be able to end 6. We can actually set those dip switches on or turn them off. Right, back to the main menu. On number 5, we'll be able to test the sensors. And here we can actually turn the display fan on or off. So here you would actually, with a flashlight, you can actually, uh, if you're in a dark room like this, you can actually press the flashlight along the sensor and you'll see the light sensor uh, emits to 100. Once you take the, the light away from it, it'll actually go down to one. That'll let you know that your light sensor is working properly. Right, so if we go back into past sensor test, we have miscellaneous. We go to option six in here. You, in here, you can actually select one with if you want to turn the lights on or off. And in number two, you can actually play the tune of the beeper to see if that's working properly. And then last but not least, we have option number seven for USB test. We'll go ahead and we'll select that. And in here, you can determine whether if the USB port is properly working on the main board. In the PB200, we're only going to be using USB port number two. For USB port number one, that option here uh, for this board in this setup is actually disabled. So we're only going to be working with port number two. So we'll go ahead and we'll just enter that. And you'll see whether your system is reading and writing and uh, if the USB is set correctly. It will detect the USB and show that it will pass on both reading and writing capabilities. Option eight there is an extra option uh, in the future in case if we have to do any kind of software or firmware updates on the PB200 if we want to add an additional option in test mode.